You're right guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna have a little look at the Warhammer Conquest magazine. I'm really excited about this one. I'm quite stoked to be honest because as we all know, I'm, I'm looking at expand, expanding my terrain collection, obviously from a shop for the, um, for, for, for the benefit of the customers as well, guys, you know, and plus as well, I wouldn't mind having some good good games with my um, my friends and my customers on a really nice table with featuring loads of nice terrain. So, let's get this out of the packaging. We're on issue 33. We've got 7.99 per week as usual. We, all, we always knew that. Um, we're gonna have a little look at the Space Marine Chapter Masters which will be quite interesting. Uh, painting terrain and the barricades in your game. So we'll have a little look at this in a second, but I just want to talk about this terrain now, guys. So after buying this and driving away from the shop, I came to the realization that this is massive savings. We're saving about 60% of RRP, guys. You know, I don't know how they're doing it, but I know I can't afford to sell my stock at that price. Um, so we are saving approximately £14.51, which in my opinion is absolutely great. And I wish I would have bought another set or maybe even another two sets, guys. I know it's a bit selfish, but for that price, I'm sorry, sometimes you have to be a little bit selfish. And I do know a lot of the people who are co collecting Conquest, they're not actually too bothered about, about the, uh, the trains and stuff. And normally I wouldn't have been, but over the past couple of years, I think it's probably since I've been a part of uh, social media, like YouTube, um, Luke's APS's page, and stuff like that. Since then, I've, I've wanted to obviously increase my terrain and increase my level of painting as well. So these are pretty detailed, these sprues. Just have a little look at this now. So I'm guessing that's the main unit there. And there's the pipes, the um, left and right angles. Well, pretty much. 45 degree angle this aren't they? Uh, and these are the ends, so they're a little bit destroyed where, so I suppose you could actually have um, plate and plasma droplets dropping out of that maybe something, but they're really detailed. Um, and to be honest with you, this would have been in the box about that big, which I personally, I don't think I would have bought for 22 pound. I think priority for me would be to buy more miniatures or paints and terrain would be secondary. But it's a good price anyway, isn't it? And that's the main thing. And then here's the little um, bolted, I don't know, things that go into the ground that hold holds the pipes in place. So personally, I think, yeah, if I would have bought another set, I could have maybe done a, a longer set of pipelines running running through the terrain, maybe. Um, hopefully my, my main subscription package will come in the post one day. There's a bit of an issue about that, guys. Actually, let's talk about that. Let's discuss that. Now, for those of you who are part of Primal, um, not Primal Games, uh, Peninsula Hobby and Chill, you will know that I've, um, I've had a bit of a gripe at the moment. Hatchet Partworks are trying to say that I owe them a, a, a monthly payment, which I've checked online. I've even showed a couple of my friends and customers uh, when we were discussing things. And I paid it, but they're telling me that I haven't paid it. So now they've stopped sending me my packages because they're saying that I've got an outstanding bill. I've emailed them, I've rang them. Um, when I've contacted them via phone, they don't seem to understand what I'm saying. I don't think English is the first language. Uh, when I email them, they're saying, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. And then they send me a follow-up email. So it must be like an automated thing and saying, you, you still need to pay this outstanding balance. Now, I'm sorry guys, I'm not paying twice. You know, uh, I don't think anybody in the right mind would pay twice. So it looks like they've canceled my subscription on me. So I do need to, I do need to send them a proper email though and say to them that basically, to, to basically get me out of the contract because obviously as far as I'm concerned, once you sign up, unless you give them um, instructions, you're signed up until the end. So I need to sort it out. But anyway, it's one of them. I'll get it sorted in the end, but yeah, I can't wait to start painting these and get these assembled. I might assemble them with blue tack at the moment, just in case I do come across any more. 
because I would have, I would have liked to connect them maybe by, by magnets on the end or something and have a big an extension on the table. So we put that to one side, 60% saving. Let's have a look at the magazine. So we've got the chapter masters on, on the first page and that is the Raven Guard chapter master. Yep. Shrike, chapter master Shrike, that's the one. So a bit of information here about the chapter masters. They're obviously the people who run each chapter. Um, they're, they're the main character of that chapter, apart from the Primarch, but unless you're Ultramines, they're the only chapter that's got a current Primarch model out at the moment. So yeah, apart from them, they, they, they are the leaders of the chapter. So this should be an interest for me, guys. I've not had a chance to read it yet. Um, we've got information, so yeah, information here about the Crimson Fist, so that's Cantor, um, High Marshal Helbreichit of the Black Templars. Black Templars are an amazing army, I love them. Well, I, don't, I don't know why he's in gold and they're in black, so it's something that I need to try and investigate myself and research about. Honor Guards here, so these are basically the bodyguards to the Ultramines Chapter Master, basically Marnius Cargo. Bit of information there about them. Lovely bit of artwork there. Sorry about the shaky cam then, guys. And this is the new Victrix card, which looks absolutely lovely. I think you get two of them with um, with Kalgar. And I think it's in the Vigilus campaign book. It's not in the current codex, unfortunately. But just look at this artwork, guys. Now, I wish he did a little bit more models. I know you've obviously got the Vanguard um, squad and the Stain Guard. I would have liked to see a little bit more squads with these bit of iconography and insignias on, on the armour because I think that, that really stands out and looks really nice. So here's some information about the cities of the Imperium, which we had a little bit of information in some of the previous ones. And then I think this is an old bit of artwork from 6th edition rulebook. It looks familiar to that anyway, or to at least the same artist. Yeah, Death from Above, so this is probably speaking about or is it a story? It might actually be a story. The Blood Angels, and there's some Blood Angels Primaris. Oh no, yeah, we well, yeah. have two Primaris vehicles um, and a unit squad out and some Reavers there. So I like in this picture how they've mixed the older models and the newer ones. It gives me a little bit more hope to, to think that, you know, hopefully Games Workshop won't remove these old models because I still think they're needed in this game. Um, they, they, they're probably going to make these stronger, but as long as these are still available. So let's go on to how to assemble your thermic plasma conducts. So clip them off as usual. Be careful, guys. Don't clip your fingers off. Um, don't clip your nails off either. Um, and then obviously plastic glue them together. But it may be, it may be a bit of advice here. Let's blue tack them together for now. Paint them up. And then you could even magnetize them, possibly, because that's what I'm thinking of doing. It's one way to expand, obviously, your scenery collection and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a symbol of that. You could even, you know, might not even need blue tech, you could just probably, you know, prime it and paint it up in sub assemblies. So I can't wait to get that on the board, to be honest, guys. I'm gonna try and get things sorted out. University is nearly finished. I literally got about one week left to hammer dissertation in. Oh guys, I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, thermic plasma conducts, how to paint. So we're doing it in lead boat. It's saying it's not, you don't need to prime the plastic, which personally, I always advise you to, to prime it. And also, if you notice, if you subscribe to this, you would have got a, um, a mold line remover. And if I was you, I'd go and buy a cheap file a, you know, like a, a, a women's nail file and just sand them down, the little nubbins, always do that. And someone's uh, marked these off, number one. Put something on there. So they're the paints that they're saying to use at the moment. I personally, I'm going to use Balthazar Gold, I think it is. It's the one that the Death Guard use for, the, for their trimmings. So I'll use the light belt of Balthazar Gold. I use those two washers as well. Obviously you want to break up all the silver there. And that's what it's going to look like after it's washed, after the gold's been added. I may personally do those wires in red because obviously the plasma's going to be in blue. So the blue will 
uh, accentuate the the red wiring and I think it'll make it stand out a bit so actually that doesn't look too bad to be honest in my opinion you know it's showing you what you could achieve with with those paints which I respect that um, and that's what it looks like when it's complete and to be fair it does look pretty cool time you use the Agrac air shade wash which does actually tone it down doesn't it you know what Retributor armor might look quite good on there to be honest it's one of the best golds in my opinion on the market certainly the ones I've um, you know used so what's this one this is the next mission barricades and conducts right so they're using the barricades and obviously the conducts to as a as a scenery piece um using this to you know prevent or, or to aid in cover should we say I wonder if they have uh, any extra rules if you because it's on this picture here you're shooting through the plasma um, Sam's intercessors fire at the plague marine and score three wounds the first model fails to hit the second plague marine passes a save the f uh, six plus one to seven plus now or d6 if the unit takes a normal mortal wound the last save is passed with a, a six oh the I'm not too sure guys I'm not sure if they're trying to say that it's got special rules or not I'll have to look, look properly in that but this is what it's going to look like eventually when it's all painted up I think it looks very nice to be honest and that's that drain power another mission and um, guys if you're doing these missions as, as you're, you're collecting this as your subscriptions are coming through the post as you're going to your local corner shop let me know because I want to know how you guys how it's going for you is it mainly the space means that are winning constantly or is that because they are more advantageous to new beginners you know what I mean I just I just would like to know so what we get in next week and the week after we know we're getting death guard next week which I've got plenty of these as, as I said last time I've got fair strike no sorry no no fear and the dark Imperium box sets so I've, I've got another spare set of them so I'll probably I'll get still get still get the magazine obviously to uh, review on the Facebook on the to review on the YouTube channel um but I'm not too sure what I'll be using them for maybe a bit of kit bashing and then the following week we're gonna get a Primarch chaplain which would be quite interesting <coughs> people are a bit skeptical about his posing and, and the actual model itself but it's not too bad uh, I like his uh, iron halo above his head that's one cool feature anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you soon Draw.